Hamilton. I... <sighs> Hello, I just turned my camera around. I just want to send a quick message before I get into this video saying thank you so much to the response of my last video. If you haven't watched it, I'll have a card right here. I think it's right here. Uh, it was called What It's Like to Be a College Age Black Girl. I It's a more serious video where I talk about my experiences just so far in my life being a black woman. And I gained a lot of new subscribers over the weekend. So hi, hello, my name is Tatiana Marie. Welcome to my channel. I post weekly The Tea Was Tea, which is a media comedy series as comedy. I post weekly The Tea Was Tea, which is the media commentary series where I talk about movies, television shows, etc. I also post every other Thursday just random videos about college life, college advice, lifestyle, stuff like that. Basically anything I really want. But in July, I am posting two videos a week. So um, thank you so much. I'm super excited for you to see more of my content. And again, I appreciate the support so much of my last video. What's that? Let's get back into the video. So Disney blessed us with the release of the original Broadway cast version of Hamilton this past Friday. Even though we should acknowledge the fact that Disney is becoming a monopoly in the entertainment industry and that's something we should probably be concerned about. They still get us Hamilton so they get a slide for about a week. Um, I originally got into Hamilton when I saw their performance during the Emmys I believe. It's either Emmys or the Oscar, not the Oscars. It was either, it was either Emmys or the Grammys. Actually I think it was the Grammys. I originally I originally saw them perform at the Grammys and right after I saw them perform the opening number I went and looked back at their cast album and listened to it and I fell in love with literally every song. I got the honor of seeing the touring cast in 2018 for my 18th birthday on my 18th birthday. Um, that was pretty cool. When I left that performance I just felt so happy and passionate about doing creative things and it made me really push myself to learn how to do something so that one day I can create something that had the same impact on me. I know I'm going deep about a musical but it's like Hamilton and just the diversity of the staff, staff <laughs> of the performers and the behind the scenes it just makes my heart so happy. So with that Let's get into the basics of Hamilton. Hamilton is a Broadway musical inspired by the biography of Hamilton written by Ron Cronwell. Cronwell? I should just do a series of videos where I just mispronounce everyone's name. Uh, the musical is written and composed by Lin-Manuel Miranda who became a household name when this musical was released. We were first made aware of Hamilton in 2009 when Lynn was asked to perform at that White House because of the success of his previous musical In the Heights, which I am so excited for to be on Broadway. I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. It's funny because he performed the first draft of the opening number of Hamilton and everybody in the crowd was just like, um, kind of laughing because they were like, is this man rapping about Alexander Hamilton? And it's so funny because like maybe five years later they performed the opening number with the, all the cast and everybody was just like, yo. So the musical went off Broadway in early, 2004, in early 2015. It went on Broadway in late 2015 due to the big success and popularity of it. It went on to win 11 Tonys and be nominated for a record-breaking 16 and it won a Grammy. The film is a collection of three different performances of Hamilton. It was originally uh, recorded for the PBS documentary. It was a bidding, a huge bidding war like every streaming and company wanted this movie but Disney ended up getting it. There's a lot of rumors of how much it was, 30 million, but it is said to be one of the highest bidding film like rights things in history so they got paid. 
It was originally supposed to be released in October 2021, but due to COVID and them knowing that the Broadway production cannot go on until January 2021, they decided to release it early. Thank God, because I don't know if I could have waited that long. Thing you need to know, it goes through the life of Alexander Hamilton um, until his death by uh, Aaron Burr during a duel. So is that, I'm just gonna go into ranting about what I love about this series, series, this film, and just what I love about the musical in general. First, I wanna talk specifically about the cinematography. I love how it was especially made for one day to be shown on a movie screen or like a streaming service because you can tell they paid so much attention to how they shot the show and how they edited the show. It shot so beautifully and I think it's because they had so much footage to work with. When they were shooting this, they of course recorded the performances, but they also, during the in-between of them performing, they would record their close-ups. And I feel the close-ups are edited at such a good time with each of the music numbers, especially when there are solo songs like Burn and Wait For It. It just puts more emphasis on the amazing acting that these people are doing and you can tell they were aware there was a camera there so their acting was more for the camera but at the same time you had that theatric element i just i loved it i think it captured the show beautifully and it also showed the amazing behind the scenes of the show and the little nuances of the show that you may not have seen if you were sitting super high up like I was during the tour or if you haven't seen the show multiple times. Now when we talk about nuances let's get into the choreography because Mr. Andy did that. I am so sorry I would say your last name but um, I can't pronounce it so everything in the show is just so detailed like I think a particular moment that most people that most people spot is during the helpless satisfied transition where literally everything goes backwards to the moment and you're seeing everything in Angelica's perspective. It's just such good choreography and everything you can tell from the details is like meant to happen. Like it's so spot on. The ensemble does such an amazing job of being both invisible and present at the same time. I just... I've never seen a cl other than Once on this Island, the revival, which needs to be recognized. Um, I just, the ensemble, especially the original one, does so well. Particularly my favorite ensemble member is Ariana DeBose. Uh, she's going to be in In the Heights, the movie that's premiering now next year due to COVID. Thanks. Um, but... Uh, I just love the choreography so much. Um, I think it's so cool and it's unique to the show. Let's get into acting. I think in particular everybody did a great job. Lynn did okay, I'm gonna be honest. Like he created a musical, good for him, but I mean he's okay at acting. I'm sorry, someone had to say it. He is upstaged by literally everyone. In particular, just to Everyone's performances are great, but I do want to give credit where it's due. Mr. Leslie Odom Jr. didn't have to perform that hard. Like he, especially during his performances in Wait For It and The World Is Wide Enough, he just gives off so much energy into the role, like a very conflicted, like you want to like his character, but you also hate his character because you know what he does at the end. And it's just like... His acting, his singing is just incredible. Um, another person I want to give credit to where it's due is Miss Goesberry. Satisfied is literally probably my favorite song on the album in the show. And it just every time she just, I love Satisfied so much. And her portrayal of Angelica is just so good and like, I'm just saying they deserve their Tonys. They deserve their Tonys. Tony Awards made a good choice by giving them that. I do also want to point out, <laughs> I just saw this tweet and it was like Anthony Ramos in the second act. It was like nine year old boy. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Uh, Andy Ramos is such a good job. Um, just dying. Um, <laughs> I'm so, I feel so bad because he, he literally dies in both acts with both characters, but I think he portrays that emotion really well. Um, <laughs> not your old um, so Liza, she, Burn is just a masterpiece. She performs it so well. Uh, I just, everybody just sets just such a good tie, tied, a good job in this. I just, I'm so glad this is available for me now. Um, overall, I just love this film so much. I can't wait to watch it over and over again and discover new things that I didn't see before. I understand there's a lot of controversy with Hamilton and people can call it overrated and there's a lot of valid criticism about Hamilton the musical itself just because of its inaccurate historical context with a lot of its things um with them playing like slave owners um was that I highly suggest watching the PBS documentary on Hamilton the musical the black actors talk about how they feel about portraying slave owners and their like sort of battle was figuring that out. I think that's a highly recommended documentary to watch about this film because it just explores how it came to be and then researching it and all that. But again there is definitely a lot of valid criticism about Hamilton and that's something to take into consideration and if you don't like it that's okay. Um, I just personally love this musical. It really inspired me especially during my senior year to be more creative and to create things that will have an impact on people. So if you don't know the musical or you really like musicals and interested I highly suggest you watch it on Disney Plus. Um, you can like it, you can hate it, but I still think one viewing is needed. You know it just I'm just so glad a film like this is available to see because it was already hard enough to go see it during the touring cast, but like there's no way unless like I become super rich, I'm going to see it on Broadway. So this will suffice. Also, if you want to geek out in the comments or in my DMs about this musical, like please feel free because I am willing to talk about it all day and night. So also before we get to the outro, can we talk about the fact that this man wrote a essay about him cheating? on his wife and all the details and the fact that he paid someone so he can keep cheating on his wife and sent it to everyone to see and didn't even warn his wife that like this was happening and she had to find out through the pamphlet like Hamilton what? <laughs> like imagine you find out your man's cheating through an essay I don't even like writing essays. Okay, I'm done ranting about Hamilton. Um, I apologize that this video is not the Percy Jackson one. I recorded it yesterday and kind of just went like, I might need to do this again. Plus, I wanted to talk about Hamilton since it came out on Friday. So, if you like my content and you want to see more of it, I post a tea with tea every Tuesday. You can hit the subscribe button or turn on the notification bell so you are notified when I post videos. My goal for the end of the summer is 100 subscribers and we're at 82 as I'm recording this. So, subscribe please. My goal for the end of the year is 1000 so monetization. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to me.